Hello, you're watching VNews Bulletin. I'm Nguyen from Hanoi. Now take a look at our top stories as usual. Ho Chi Minh City in need of over 55,000 workers updated. Developing way into the capital of outside. Let's begin the bulletin with the most prominent events of the week from February 7 to 13. President Nguyen Xuân Phúc on February 10 chaired a meeting of the steering committee on building the project to reveal the resolution adopted at the year's sessions of the 11th Party Central Committee. Addressing the meeting, President Phúc highlighted the significance of the resolution and affirmed that great efforts made by the entire party, military and people have contributed to achievements in the implementation of this important resolution over the past decade. He also underlined the need to organize more discussions and seminars on viewpoint and strategy for national defense is a new situation. A book names several theoretical and practical issues on socialism and the path towards socialism in Vietnam by party general secretary Nguyen Phu Chiang, whose made debut on February 9. The book selects 29 articles and speeches by general secretary Nguyen Phu Chiang since the preparation of documents of the 13th National Party Congress. The general content of those articles and speeches is a dialectical analysis and thorough explanation for big questions about socialism and the path to socialism in Vietnam of the party leader. The book aims to serve theoretical stories and raise public awareness of socialism and the path to socialism in Vietnam among officials, party members and people, thus creating a consensus in thinking in entire society. Vietnam and Australia have officially assumed the role of car trades of the Southeast Asia Regional Programme, CRP, under the Organisations for Economic Cooperation and Development, OECD, for the term 2022-2025 from Thailand and the Republic of Korea. Speaking at the second CRP ministerial meeting on February 9 in Seoul, Foreign Minister Bui Tae-sun proposed three areas of cooperation to strengthen the partnership between the OECD and ASEAN in the coming time. During his trip to the Republic of Korea, Mr. Bui Tae-sun met with House President Moon Jae-in and his counterpart Chung Min Young. President Moon affirmed that the Republic of Korea always considers Vietnam a key partner in its new southern policy. Meanwhile, the two foreign ministers showed their wish to further boost bilateral ties and organize activities to mark the 30th anniversary of the diplomatic relations between the two countries. The two sides also consented to step up cooperation at multilateral forums and mechanisms, particularly the UN. The Vietnamese national women's football team beat the Chinese Taipei 2-1 on February 6 at the playoff match of the 2022 AFC Women's Asian Cup to attend the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup for the first time. President Nguyen Xuân Phúc has signed a decision to present first-class labor orders to the national women's football team and head coach Mai Duc Chung in recognition of their outstanding performance in the 2022 AFC Women's Asian Cup. Prime Minister Phuc Minh Ching on February 10 met members of the Vietnamese national women's football team who returned home earlier the same day. The Prime Minister called the footballers Diamond Girls and Mai Duc Chung a diamond coach saying they show talents, intelligence, will and matter of Vietnamese people and overcome hardships to bring home victories contributing to the Vietnamese football. Many rubber companies reported higher profits in the fourth quarter of last year as export prices rose sharply. The rubber industry saw profits surge in mid-2021, even as the COVID-19 pandemic was at the peak, thanks to the sharp increase in latent prices. According to the General Department of Vietnam Custom, rubber export rose by 37.5% to nearly 3.3 billion US dollars in full year 2021, making Vietnam the third biggest exporter of the products in the world. It sells rubber to over 80 markets, including China, India, the Republic of Korea, Germany, and the U.S. 
The Vietnam Rubber Association expects global rubber prices to keep increasing sharply in 2022 to 2024 because of declining supply. However, according to the Agency of Foreign Trade, Electric prices will continue to rise only in the short term as many countries grapple with the Omicron variant of COVID and cut out of production. Tigers symbolize bravery and have also been dubbed the king of the jungle in their natural habitat. A zoo is housing tigers in captivity. However, they become quite docile in the hands of skinned tamers. Join us to meet one of tiger tamers in Ho Chi Minh City to learn more about this challenging and dangerous job. Wing Thu Hung is a zookeeper at the Saigon Zoo's and Botanical Gardens and has stayed this only white tiger couple for nearly three years. Studying at 6.30 every morning, he checks on the health and cleans their leg. I used to work as a driver and would often visit the zoo as I like the scenery. I then decided to apply for a job here, and I have worked at the zoo for three years now. Initially, I took care of lepers, wizards, and otters, and now tigers. White tigers are rare and are alert and active, alert by visitors. It took two years for whom to become used to them and tame them. Every single day is a new challenge, requiring patience, perseverance, and meticulousness from preparing meals to caring and understanding about the tiger's behavior and habits, and are always risks and dangers. It was difficult at first because they didn't always cooperate, but things became better, and they had become part of my family. I caught the men, the and the female guy, and they understand me. I take care of them every day, and they are very friendly. Hong is conscientious and loves the animals and takes good care of them. He considers the tigers his friends and plays with them. He is always involved in their breeding and works well with them. Taking care of and raising wild animals, especially the king of the jungle, is no easy task. Tiger tamers like whom become friends of wild animals and contribute to the protections and conservations of rare and endangered species. As Ho Chi Minh City applies flexible measures to adapt to the new number and curb the spread of COVID-19, firms are rolling out recruitment plans after Ted holiday, with about 55,000 vacant positions to be filled. According to the city centers for forecasting manpower needs and labor market information, the available jobs are primarily in the fields of textile, leather, footwear, food manufacturing, processing, mechanics, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and rubber products, and wholesale retails, among others. About 86% of the positions are for those with training, with about 21% of them seeking those holding bachelor's and higher degrees. As COVID-19 has been brought under control, businesses have resumed operations after the Tet holiday with numerous orders. Human resources demand in Ho Chi Minh City has been in the rise, and the labor market posted positive changes. Many businesses are recruiting hundreds of workers. A pair of firms observe a high number of orders, leading to a net of between 6,000 and 9,000 workers, equivalent to 10 to 15 percent of the current number. The idea of developing Hue into the capital of Aozai, Vietnam's national dress, is an effort to integrate traditional heritage into modern life and gradually build the image and brand name of Aozai Hue. It will also enable the traditional dress to become a unique product of cultural tourism. There are several objectives in developing Hue into the capital of Aozai in Vietnam, as stated within the proposal for the Hue, the capital of Aozai project. This includes promoting the value and brand name of Aozai Hui, developing the name Hui, the capital of Aozai Vietnam, and training Aozai artisans, designers, and tailors. To promote the wearing of Aozai since 2020, the Thu Dinh Hui Department of Culture and Sports has encouraged male and female public servants to wear Aozai while at work. Wearing an Aozai has beautiful human values 
and reminds us to follow etiquette when working and speaking. Outside designed by artisans in Hue bear distinctiveness due to their skills, with many having devoted their lives to making the traditional dress. I am 90 years old now, but still teach my grandchildren how to make outside. Many famous tailors in Hue are my former students. Youngster in Hue also seek ways to contribute to promoting outside, such as creating unique spaces, rendezvous points for those wanting to learn and experience the cultural values and traditional customs of Hue, including the five layered outside. We have created nostalgic spaces to restrain the old atmosphere, and the outside is perfect in helping people capture and save beautiful moments. Under the project, Thu Thiên Huế will also develop documents for submission to UNESCO, seeking recognition for the outside as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Authorities in Nang City, a popular tourism hub in central Vietnam, plan to resume all flight routes and tourism activities next month to boost economic recovery. According to Da Nang authorities, the number of tourists to the city during the Tet holiday increased by 17 percent year-on-year, showing a positive sign of recovery. Despite severe pandemic impacts, major travel firms have invested in new tourism products to serve visitors. Currently, Da Nang is not connected to the U.S. and has not yet risen commercial flights to Asian destinations. Da Nang is one of seven localities that fully vaccinated foreign tourists are allowed to visit under the Vaccine Passport Trial Program. The others include Bình Định, Khánh Hòa, Kiên Giang, Quảng Nam, Quảng Ninh and Ho Chi Minh City. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính has asked concert agencies to be prepared to fully reopen the border soon, ideally by the end of March. Da Nang received 1.17 million domestic tourists last year, down 55.8% from 2019. Located in Long Minh to the city of Ho Chi Minh City, Biu Long Pagoda shares the same architecture with pagoda in Thailand. It is the Thai style architecture that makes Biu Long become a unique pagoda in Vietnam. Situated on the hill, Bu Long Pagoda is easily recognized thanks to its striking yellow tower. After its establishment in 1942, Bu Long Pagoda undergone several restoration and reconstruction efforts. By 2007, it has become an outstanding architectural representative for the fusion between the Nguyen dynasty and the Southeast Asian culture embodying several design elements from both sources. Standing in the pagoda compound, one of your perfect serenity as they listen to the gentle tingles of white chimes on top of the tower, the peaceful sounds of water flowing from the lake outside the main hall. Visitors are also impressed by the pagoda's splendid architecture and can get lost in Buddhism by listening to the monk's Dharma talk. The pagoda has been upgraded several times, but its architecture remains intact. Being situated on a hill, which is about 20 kilometers far from the city center and shadowed with green trees year-round, Bulan Pagoda provides a cool space for visitors. Bulan Pagoda boasts a unique architecture. It's very spectacular. That is all for this hour. Thank you for watching and see you next time.